Mm. It's smoky. You gotta get something smoked in the soup. I like how how it covers almost the whole space. You can kind of use ingredients that you have in your kitchen from cooking something else. Hello my hungry friends. Kitchen's closed. Today the kitchen's closed. We are going to be concentrating on the culinary delicacies <laughs> one can obtain from the refueling depots of the surrounding area of Szczecin. So, what does that mean? <laughs> Gas station food. So, this is what Corona has forced us to do. <laughs> Yeah. Oh so, but we have we have things planned. We have um, we have stuff to do for you guys yet. So, but today gas station food, and we're going on a trip, a very small trip, Taki Malutki, to a special place in your heart. enchanted forest. But I won't tell you more about it yet. So stay tuned while we take you to the gas station and then the enchanted forest of Happy Town. Smooth, baby. You can't go on orange. No. No, no, no. Can you turn right on red? No. 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 It's Unless perfect. there's a green arrow. Right, but then it's not red, is it? Then you have a green arrow. Right. There could be red and then small green arrow underneath. Right. Then you can go. And the lights uh, go in different, like, watch. So right now it's red. And then it's going to go to red and yellow. Means and then green. And then it's and then it's uvaga uvaga gotovi. Do starto. And then do start. So there's the yellow and there's the green. Super interesting. We're headed for Venus, but still we stand strong.
Are you guys Eden? Yeah. Just not where the Lidl sign is though, the next time. Can we gas? I can do gas. Yeah, let's get gas. Alright, so here we are at the famous Stetchen Shell gas station. And this gentleman's gonna come and try to fill our tank. Let's tell him no. One is on sale today. What's on sale? One is on sale today. Oh yeah? Take care. Oh. Very insistent that he's gonna do it. So if you come over here, babe, we're filling her up with good old diesel, because that's what most of the cars in Europe are running on with diesel. So you got the variations of more expensive that he probably just sold the sauce on. But then you have the 95 uh, gasoline or benzene and the, mm -hmm, and then the 100 rating for racing. Now, a lot of people will tell you that in the States with our 85 and 90 as being weaker fuel, they use a different octane rating system in Europe than in the States. It's not that much different. So, there you go. Here's some knowledge from Uncle Mark. A little knowledge, Monka Mark. <laughs> and if you count up there, we're going by liters. We are four Zwapi 76 cents per liter, which is a little over a dollar a liter. And there's four liters to a gallon. So we're at about almost five bucks a gallon for something. We'll do the math. All right, let's pay. All right. The gas station. Will you squirt some on me, please? Oh, stop. Oh, I can do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, please. Small black coffee. You like Costa Coffee? I do like Costa Coffee. Are they around a lot in Europe or what? I think a lot of the yeah, gas stations do it. But they have like Costa Coffee eatery type places too, huh? Oh, it's Columbus Coffee I'm thinking of. Yeah, Columbus. Yeah, not Costa. Columbus is prevalent. They got good food there too. We'll go there someday when the world opens up again. Oh, freshly brewed and ground. You could hear the machine grinding. And you got your essentials everywhere. Your monsters. Sodas. Children's candies, Magnum bars, all your COVID needs, automotive needs. What kind of coffee are you getting, babe? Mm. A, a, a nice one? Smlakom, smlakem. Let's see if our if our viewers at home can help us. Biawa Kaba America. I wish I could add another shot of espresso. Hey, this ain't fancy like McDonald's, okay? We can. You can just get what you want. <laughs> you take what the machine gods give you. So, food. So today, on the menu. today on the menu we have... Ooh, these are pretty. Look at that go, huh? Um, chicken sandwiches. Uh, and some... Now, what? Uh, uh, yummy, yummy. 
What are you gonna get? Sweet oh, you get sweet. <laughs> you get the sweetest thing on the menu. <laughs> That's my lady. A ja poproszę kiełbaskę, nie, kiełbaskę polską. Proszę. Tak. There goes our buns, baby, in the toaster. Toasty buns. A ja? Jakie sosy? O, um, ketchup proszę, trochę ketchup. Super. Dzięki. Tak. Ale. Dziękuję. A na pani jaki to sosi? Ja musztardę poproszę. Can you handle those? Yeah. Great success. And the way you go, my love. Okay, cheese. So this is what we got. I got a kielbasa and you got a hot dog. And I'm ketchup, she's mustard, and together we're perfect. <laughs> I haven't had this in I don't know how long. Me neither. But the bun sleeve. It's the best thing, literally, since sliced bread. Mm -hmm. This is how we can eat on the go. Mm -hmm. It's all encompassing, see? And then all the juices get around it. See how nice the juice around it? And there's nothing on your hands. Mine looks like the yellow mustard. I think because it is yellow mustard. Much like pasta sticky though, you can't look elegant eating these. Uh, yeah, do you, do you want to look elegant? No. <laughs> Episode's not. So, we're supposed to talk about gas stations. Yes! <clears throat> so this one was relatively small mm -hmm. as far as food availability. Um, there's normally, <clears throat> I mean not normally, sometimes there's like a whole kitchen and they even make stuff on the spot and sometimes you can get like three different types of soups mm -hmm. and sabole, mm -hmm. <laughs> the pork cutlet and like a full dinner type and burgers and yeah. pierogi and everything but often like this you can you almost always can get hot dogs yeah and almost always can get a little sweet bun or a sandwich of some sort so most of them if you're if you're in the northeast think of wawa or sheets uh if you're from the midwest think uh or from the north like me the quick trip 7-eleven i don't know but they're usually pretty good like uh, and this is a little one but i remember that in the states when we first came over here i was really impressed with the with the quality of the food that was in gas stations mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. compared to what was in the states back in 2000. Yeah. We weren't getting much good stuff in the, back then, but the game has really come up. Like the Wawa breakfast burritos, come on. <laughs> They're ridiculous, I can't wait. Like we fly into Pennsylvania. I'm from Wisconsin, so when we come home, we have friends in PA, so we stop in PA. We like them very much, but we like breakfast burritos better. So we really stop, mm -hmm. we fly in, rent a car, and go to Pennsylvania to the Wawa for that reason. Uh, I'm always impressed with the quality of coffee. Mm hmm Usually it's freshly ground. And yep. Europe has spoiled me as far as coffee goes. Yeah. That's true. Although I can still use some good old fashioned good coffee. Yeah. Once in a while. Mm. 
but one problem with these is you tell her, mm -hmm. I'm full. <laughs> I told her just a little ketchup. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like, it's too much ketchup. But you always complain. I'm not complaining. Not enough ketchup. Too much ketchup. <laughs> Did you see the look? Shall we? Okay. I need direction. Give me phone. Go west! Hi guys! Give me the There's a someone, there's a there's a there's a van up there with polizia or somebody it's, in it. I think it's German. Well either way, I don't care. I don't have my passport. I can't there's go there. So here's the problem with the route we were going. Is this sign. I don't know if you can read it very good. You gonna act by accent? No, it's a German. Uh-huh. Is uh is the Germany. Oh, he's gonna let us go. Danke schön, Mr. Polizei. Danke, danke. So here's the problem. Hold on a second, Aja. Yeah, yeah. So this is. These people are going. I know, but they don't. I don't know. This is the Polish-German border. Right now, it's supposed to be closed unless you have a um, a work, work status or a uh, positive or a negative. Negative COVID test in the last 72 hours. We have neither, and I don't have my passport with. So we gotta find a way around. I could just go in with just my ID. I know you can, but, but I don't. I can't. I know you know that. Well, maybe telling, I can. I don't know. I'm telling our viewers. Oh yeah, the viewers. <laughs> Aja, can you go without your passport? Yes, I can <laughs> go without my just with my ID. I can. not Maybe. I don't know. But here, ooh, let's see here. This is the insanity coming into Polish roads, and Ajo put a big still up there of these, trying to memorize how fast you can go on what. Because as you see on most of these drives, you won't see a speed limit sign. You just gotta know what to do. And now we're driving through the town of Grefino, which is an alternative route to the woods. Because we couldn't go through the Germany. Standard, standard little village, <laughs> communistic Poland village. <laughs> Do you have to go to Germany to get there? No. Are you sure? Yes. Just go straight. Okay. I checked the map. I've never been to this mystical forest that you're saying exists. You've never been to the mystical forest? I don't think it exists. I think it exists in your head only. No, because I've been to the mystical forest on my motorcycle. Do you have uh, uh, witnesses? Uh, nope. Okay. Just saying. She's not. She doesn't trust me. tower over here on the left. I can't see it because of the way of the car. Ooh. Yeah, it is. It says Brahma. Portova? Mm -hmm. Brahma means gate. Right? Mm -hmm. So I imagine at one point this was a walled city. Yeah. 
and that was one of the guard towers, just like Stretchen has gates. We'll show you guys the gates. We promise. Promise. <laughs> Okay, so here we are at the entrance to the really awesome forest that we're going to go oh, to. Oh, wait, 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 I can't see you. Huh? I don't know how to work this. Hang on. Just use the thumb. I'm trying to. Okay. okay, got it. Do it again? No. Okay. Entrance to the really cool, sneaky forest thing. And you have to go through the, the archway of industry <laughs> into the crooked... Oh, I gave it away. We're going to the Crooked Wood. <laughs> Let's go to the Crooked Wood. Well, should we go check it out? All right, Crooked Forest, here we come. They cut it down. They cut down the Crooked Forest? Those bastards. <laughs> And here we are. The Crooked Forest. Is this where I have my sweet bun? This is where you have your sweet bun. <laughs> sweet bun and coffee. But at first I'm gonna look at the trees. Very weird. How's that sweet bun treating you? It's a croissant. Yeah. Filled with hazelnut cream. So it's like a French and German thing put together, sold in Poland. Yeah. Like a Peugeot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you want to know something about the Crooked Forest, yeah, you know here it is. Well, I'm going to show the folks. There you go. That's the history of the Crooked Forest there. Now, I'll tell you about it. So, the history of the Crooked Forest. you got to remember, back before 1945, this was part of the Germany. Okay? So the Germans, what they wanted to do was corner the market, the world market, on the wooden question mark market so they said we have to build the trees that look like question marks <laughs> well after 1945 when this area became poland the poles came in here and said what is this crap all about we'll just grow exclamation points it's easier so they straightened out the trees around you know as you can see over here these are these trees of post-1945, see, exclamation points. So there's the history. There's some knives to knock the right people. That's so fun going. <laughs> I'm a bite. Mm. 
Okay, so, really, they don't know. There is no, from what I read on the interwebs, and y'all can check it out. Maybe you can find something better than me. They don't know really what happened. Um, hypotheses are that they were trying to grow special lumber for making furniture, for making boats, and that the locals bound the trees as they were growing in certain ways uh, to make them do this. Nobody thinks this is a natural phenomenon. But it's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So it says here that these trees, they're estimating these trees to have been planted in 1934. And so that would make them well over 70 years old. And then they're, they're also thinking, hypothesizing that they have been run over by tanks coming through. Mm -hmm. And that since they were young trees, they were damaged, you know, mechanically like that. Mm -hmm. And then they were regrowing in this weird shape. And this is considered a uh, national forest. And since this crooked forest is so famous all around the world, they have made this into a Pomnik Przyrody, which is natural monument. Nice. It should be. It's beautiful. So they're over, actually they're over 80 years old now. Run over by tanks, huh? Yeah. Because they were only 10 years old when, you know, by estimation. Hmm. Well, whatever the reason that they look like that, they're pretty cool. So that's our video for this week. Thanks for coming along. We hope that you come see us again on Monday when we're back in our kitchen and cooking up some Polish food. What do I say now? <laughs> Follow, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button doohickey on the thingy to get notifications when Anna posts a new video. Uh, don't forget to visit the merch store at PYK at PolishYourKitchen.com. Um, the donate button's in the bottom. If you want a signed cookbook, stay tuned to PolishYourKitchen.com for a signaturized cookbook from this lovely lady <laughs> from the Christmas uh, cookbook edition thingy that she has. It's wonderful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We appreciate your support always. Uh, thank you for liking, watching, and giving us all the wonderful comments. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. No, we have to go. <laughs> <laughs>